so in this lecture we will be seeing the different types of functions in javascript okay however they looks a little different while writing but internally they works almost similar okay so let's see so in previous lecture if you remember we took an example of a function declaration okay so we wrote a function with this function keyword and then we wrote a function name here and then the rest of the things so let's define a function again let's say last name join and then we'll pass last name here and you remember this is a parameter which we are going to pass in this function it acts as a placeholder for the actual value which we are going to pass okay and then full name equals to let's say or we can use template literals either space and then the last name and then we can return this value or in case we are not using this variable anywhere else that then what we can do is we can directly return this template details like this so this way we don't have to create any extra variable so that won't take any extra space in the memory okay so this is our one function now let's call it so if i pass shivastava and uh, since we have returned this value from this function so we need to store it in some variable okay so let's say full name 1 and then we will console log it okay if i refresh it then as expected we got our full name so we have passed the argument here which is the actual value and then from parameter this function read that value and we got our template literal template string which we have created with the help of that parameter variable okay so here we got our um full name so now let's see the same example with the help of function expression so to write a function declaration what we used to do we use this function keyword and then a function name and then the rest of the things like this open and close parenthesis this curly braces and then the rest of the code okay to write a function expression what we used to do is we remove the function name from the function okay and now it is also called as anonymous functions because it doesn't have any name okay so now what we will do we will create a variable last name join one let's say okay so here what we are doing is we are storing this whole function this whole anonymous function as a value to this variable yeah you heard right a function this function is actually an expression right now because it is going to return something okay you can clearly see so we can store it as a value into some variable like other number string we can also use functions as a value function is also a value we can say okay it is not a type but it is a value so now since we have stored this whole function 
into this variable so now we can call this variable as a function or we can say we can invoke this variable as a function now I hope you guys are getting it since we have stored this whole function into this variable so now this variable became a function and how we call a normal function we call it like this right we call the function name and then the parenthesis and then we pass the actual value if there is any parameter in that function S same way we are going to do with this variable because we have stored a whole function into it okay we haven't stored any value into it we have we have stored a whole function so we'll be calling this variable like a normal function so here if I hover it then you can clearly see it is requiring me to pass a last name into it okay let's pass the last name and let's store it in some variable full name 2 okay and now let's console log this as well so now if I refresh it then you can see um, we got our first log from this function declaration and our second log from this function expression just let me quickly format this okay so here is one small way with the help of which you can format your code you can select all your code and then you can just right click and then go into this format selection or if you are in Mac then you will see this shortcut as well so what it will do it will format your code okay your unstructured code so now we have this function expression and function declaration okay so now the question arises like which one we should use and which one we should not use so it's more about your personal preference like if you like using this function function declaration then you can go with the function declaration else you can go with the function expression expression okay since I like uh, this function expression the most because I like to define the functions at the top and then calling them at the bottom to make uh, the code little cleaner so it's all about the function uh, uh, your preferences about the functions okay but that doesn't mean you should uh, know about one type of function and you should totally forget about the other type of functions because they are because they are there are some cases where we will have to use the function expressions instead of function declarations okay down the road when we'll dive deeper into the functions then you will uh, get to see uh, the use case of the function expressions as well okay and the other thing the basic difference between the function expressions and function declarations is function declarations we can use before we are actually defining the functions okay let me show you that as well so here what I have done is here I have called this function declaration before we have actually defined declared it okay I have called this function and then I have stored it in some value so let's see what happens if I console log it here again we are getting the same output okay so now let's see what happens if we try to execute this code before its declaration okay so here is our second function expression and if I try to uh, run this code then you can clearly see we got a reference error cannot access last name join one before initialization because we haven't initialized it yet and this happens because of a concept which is called hoisting but more about that in the later lectures okay we will cover that thoroughly but in 
upcoming lecture. So this is also one of the basic difference between the function expression and the function declaration. Like we cannot call a function expression before its initialization, but we can call a function declaration before its initialization. Okay. So these are the two types of uh, functions.